Hi, I'm Rich Schnipple with Encore RV, and today we're going to talk about our newest and largest toy hauler. This is the ROG 20TH2. This is available in a TH1 and TH2 configuration, the difference being how many tip-outs there are. The TH2 will have a tip-out on each side, and then uh, the TH1 will have a tip-out just on the uh, curb side. So let's take a look at what we've got, and we'll go this through this, uh, get you down this side pretty quickly. Uh, you're going to have a side entry door and a window, and of course your tip-out. This is where your sleeping is going to take. Uh, they've got zip down panels so that you can let air flow through this. We also offer, uh, very industry first, an insulated tent option so you can extend your camping. This is perfect for hunters going out in the fall and winter. Um, the insulated tent's a little bit different color. We offer it in white and gray, actually. And the gray is kind of pulls in a little bit more heat. Uh, but what's really nice about that is you extend that season either earlier in the spring or later into the fall and take advantage of your air conditioner or furnace being able to heat or cool the inside of the trailer and not let it escape. Uh, coming around the back, uh, you're going to see that we've got the three button system. This is for our LP griddle. We have a 26 inch uh, griddle that will go here and it comes with a table and a quick connect so you can just go down here and hook up into your LP which feeds from the 20 pound bottle on the front of the trailer. Um, front and back you're going to find that we've got Salem vents. This is so that you're always circulating the air. The two on the front will pull air in up high, circulate it down and release it out the back. That keeps any fumes out of the coach. Um, we have an optional uh, 12 foot Thule power awning up on the trailer. Uh, if this, the tip out's in, uh, you can let that out and it can be out and still come out, but uh, it'll provide you a nice uh, area out of the sun. Uh, if you have a motocross team, you can work on your uh, bike out here under the awning and uh, take advantage of the shade that it provides. Coming around the back, you're going to see that we've got a, a ramp door. Um, and this is uh, how you're going to get your toys inside of it. Nothing new there, um, but uh, real easy to work. You can see uh, there's no cables or anything. The springs are all built into the base of it. Uh, but that's what's going to allow you to get that large four-door side-by-side, um, multiple Harley-Davidsons, um, ATVs, golf cart, whatever you want to load. Um, this ramp is rated at 2,500 pounds or 1,000 pounds per contact point with the wheels. Uh, right over here, we're going to have the city water fill and your fresh or city water hookup and your fresh water fill and you're going to have a spray port down here that's going to go ahead and pull water from the 26 gallon tank and then this is an input so if you have a portable on demand hot water heater you can feed the spray port into the portable hot water heater and then go out of it and back into the trailer and that will put hot water access up to the front of the trailer if you look up into the corner here just like every rog We've got 12 volt power ports at all four corners. What that does is it provides pre-wired ports that you will hook up with an SAE connector, which we provide with you to wire in any of your favorite 12 volt accessories. And you can mount those at a roof rack. Accessories like uh, you can put a backup camera so you don't have to try to wire that and just flip the switch on and it will work for you the whole time you're driving. You can put 12 volt LED lighting up there. Um, but that's all controlled inside. Each one of the four corners is controlled independently by a switch. This is going to be uh, your tip out on the roadside. And it's okay, at the front roadside of the trailer, you're going to see our incredible all aluminum, 300 pound capacity off grid ladder. And this thing is not like any other ladder you've seen. It uh, starts at the top and goes from the roof rack down, and it does bolt directly into the mainframe. Uh, like I said, rated at 300 pounds. But not like a lot of, uh, of these ladders that you've seen. I'm a big guy. I can get up and down on this, and it's not really moving. But it's actually very lightweight because it's all aluminum. And we do have accessory mounting points. So if you wanted to put jerry cans on here or something, there's uh, our mounting system is here, and we've got brackets that fit onto this. Moving just forward, you're going to see this is your battery storage. Um, there is a light in here. It's a motion-detected light. And um, inside you'll have room for probably four or five 100 amp hour batteries, depending on how you configure them. But that's a lot of power for going off grid and uh, being self-reliant. Um, all your electrical will be hooked up right here. So you're going to have your 30 amp shore cord. You're going to have your solar prep. So if you're carrying a solar, a portable solar panel, 
you're just going to plug it in here, put it in the sun, and that's going to go ahead and power up your batteries, uh, providing some off-grid power. And then this is going to be your uh, antenna coaxial uh, for either satellite, antenna, or cable TV if it's provided at the campground you're at. And then in just a second, we'll take a look at some of the features on the front end. On the front of the ROG, it's all business. You're going to see our spare tire carrier. Um, everything's going to come with a full-size spare tire. These are 235-75 R15 uh, mud tires on a flat black wheel. Uh, you're going to have your 20-pound LP tank. There's a little extra space for you to store things. Uh, this particular hitch or this particular trailer is going to come with a 12 volt power jack. It's got a built in light. If the power ever dies, you've got a hand crank. It's going to have a removable wheel or sand pad, either one, they come with it, and you can put that on and off. Um, up front, you're going to have your 2 and 5 16 inch coupler, safety chains, your breakaway wire, and we've actually, uh, on all the trailers, we include a little spot for your seven way connector so that it's uh, completely up and out of the way. We've also pre-wired this jack so that it's got an SAE connector so you can disconnect it and pull it off if you ever needed to real quickly without having to rewire it. Um, the one thing I will note is our spare tire carrier and basket up here, this is all steel. It, it needs to be made out of steel to be strong enough to support this. Um, it's just uh, a lot easier for us to work with that, but that's one of the few steel components that you'll find in our trailer other than the axles. And uh, from here, why don't we take a look inside the trailer? So accessing the trailer pretty easy like anything else. You're going to open the door. You've got a magnetic door hold back here. And then you've got one of these really nice heavy duty steps that just flips out. And that's going to give you easy access. We've gone ahead and included a grab handle so uh, you can get in there real safely and securely. Let's go in and take a look. So inside the trailer, this is where the massive space is. And again, this will hold a true four door side by side really easily and we've included plenty of tie down rings uh, you've got a total of 12 of them um, so if you're bringing in motorcycles ATVs whatever it is there's a lot of options for tying down as you can notice the most uh, obvious thing is the two tip outs these are really nice uh, big 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 tip outs that uh, provide a lot of sleeping accommodations if you're bringing along uh, additional people you could set up a cot or a blow up mattress in here and have even more sleeping uh, which is really nice. Um, just above the tip outs, you're going to see that we've got some storage up here with some bungee cords. Uh, we do this, uh, you can pretty much configure these any way that you would like uh, to hold your gear in, but it's just a nice place to stuff some extra stuff to get it out of the way. Um, the, uh, the dinette table is a, is a really cool system. You can move these things around, get them in and out of the way. It's kind of nice. Uh, you could uh, lay down in bed and use that to hold your laptop an iPad or something like that, but you can swing it out of the way however you want. Um, it's really kind of very adjustable and there's a mount on each side. So if you wanted, you could purchase an additional table and mount, uh, but it's already in the side of the trailer or you can move this one to that side. Um, just over here, this uh, box right here, this is uh, access to your water pump and where you would winterize the trailer. So your fresh water fill goes into there and your tank is just directly below you. And that's nice because we're helping you to control the ballast. It acts like a ballast and control the weight of the trailer, which you'll also do when you load your ATVs, motorcycles, or side by side. How forward or backward you go has a lot to do with how this thing will tow. Um, but that's really nice and easy to access. Coming up front, you're going to see, as I pointed out, a couple windows on each side. These are tip out windows. They are escape windows. Uh, they're not necessary because you can escape through uh, the um, tip outs, but the nice thing about the tip out style window is that if it's raining, you're able to keep the window open without water coming in and still pull fresh air in if you've got everything closed up. Uh, additionally, you're provided with some night shades uh, that darken everything in here to keep the light out and give you some privacy. Uh, but that's really kind of nice and I'm a uh, big fan of this style of a window. This is going to be your thermostat for your uh, 20,000 BTU LP furnace by Dometic. Uh, that's how you control that, uh, the temperature inside. Down a little bit lower, you're going to find that you're going to have your uh, carbon monoxide and LP detector. Um, moving up front here, you're going to see that we've got our big massive closet. And this is big. Uh, plenty of storage in this, let me tell you. There's a motion light, as you can see, it just went on. But there's a hanger going across here and plenty of room to put stuff on the bottom. Um, as you'll see with this uh, particular trailer, there's a lot of gear in here. 
This is your removable antenna. It's right at the top of the ladder, and you just bring the coaxial cord down and plug in where we showed you the uh, input was for that, but that's your high-def antenna. Uh, we don't mount it to the roof. It'd be easy to do, but we're trying to eliminate holes in the roof so that uh, there's less potential for leaks. Right now, the only holes in this roof are going to be for your air conditioner and your roof vent. Um, looking through, you're also going to see that you're going to get a shower port. Uh, this is what plugs in and gives you that outside shower, the ability to rinse some things down. You're going to get your 30 amp uh, shore cord, which is right here. Uh, this is so you can plug in and, and get power into the trailer. Um, you got a couple other things. Although I said that the awning was electric, it is a power awning. Nice thing is there is a manual backup in case there was ever a problem, so you can get that out. And then naturally the front jack as well. If that were to ever fail or you had a problem, you can jack it down manually. Uh, and then you're going to get um, the Encore little bag here that keeps all of your manuals and operating instructions. Your, your remotes and things like that are going to be in there. Gives you a nice convenient place to keep that. Um, just above that, you're going to see that we've got your converter. Uh, this is how you get your 12 volt power into the trailer. If you don't have a battery, your battery were dead. When you're plugged into shore power, this will take the 120 power, convert it to 12 volt. It'll create, it'll become a uh, battery charger. So it's a smart charger too. It will never overcharge the battery. Uh, and this is where your 12 volt fuses will be and your 120 volt breakers. Um, and as you can see, it's got auto detect. So whether you're running an AGM battery or a lithium battery, there's no switches to flip. It auto detects and works from there. Um, the furnace is located just below here. And I point that out ahead is because there's your furnace vents right here where the hot air will come out. Um, your cabinets over here are your overhead cabinets. Uh, these have a motion light as well. It was on because you can put it in two different spots, off, motion, or on all the time. Uh, I'll turn it off for right now so it's not glaring the camera. But uh, our cabinets are all aluminum. This is eighth inch aluminum. It's CNC laser cut, formed and powder coated. Um, Rock strong solid, I'll tell you, you can, you're not going to go into somebody else's trailer and start doing this because you'll tear it right out of the wall. And if you kind of bring the camera in and look up here, I'm going to point something out to you. Uh, the fasteners, these are all the spots where we fasten it are lasered in holes. So when our team goes to install this, they put it into place and the screws are always going in the same place. Uh, there's absolutely no way for them to mess up or miss. There's not too many screws. Everything is staged all uh, symmetrically and spaced right. And uh, it's always going to hit aluminum tubing in the back. So it's really nice. If you ever replace this and put another cabinet in, it's going to mount in the exact same spot every time. Um, the doors are, everything on this is really lightweight and built to last a long, long time. When we go up here, you're going to see we've got our JBL AM FM Bluetooth speaker. Um, that's got four speakers hooked up in here. There's four JBL speakers in the ceiling. And then you're going to see that we've got uh, our control panel over here. And what I really like about that is if you look at this, this is not just typical inexpensive RV stuff. We're using marine grade rocker switches. Uh, these things are really high end. They cost quite a bit more money than a traditional 15 cent RV switch, but they're a lot more reliable also. All of our bezels are cut out of aluminum and then laser etched with what they do. Their functions are all listed. So you've got your main lights, you've got your kitchen lights, you've got your 12 volt reefer, and then you've got your porch light outside. And what's really cool about this, it can either be white or amber. Amber is really nice because it's not going to attract a lot of bugs. And then one of our trademark features is our underglow lights. We've got amber lights underneath the frame. What's great about that is you flip them on. You don't have to have your side lights on. You can walk around camp, see just enough so that you're not going to hit anything, trip on anything, and uh, get around real well. Then we've got um, really high amp uh, USB chargers. So there's twin USBs in here for charging your devices. When you come over to here, you're going to see this is your tank water monitor system. So you've got your water pump and your fresh tank. So this tank is full right now, as you can see. And uh, that would be your water pump. And when you turn on the faucet, it would go and pump water. This is your power port system. So as I explained outside, there's a SAE connector and all of the corners so that you can mount things to the roof rack. Uh, that's all wired to this point. So if you had a big LED light out the side, uh, you would just go ahead and hit the roadside front or rear. And that would turn that light on independently. Um, when you look down at the kitchen, uh, moving down, you're going to see that we use solid surface countertops. 
Um, these are really nice. They're uh, very high end, especially for a trailer like this. Uh, but what we do is have to pick things that don't have wood. And uh, the most obvious thing would be a solid surface. There's a hand formed stainless steel sink, a commercial grade faucet, nice and easy so you can work the sprayer. And as I said, if you've got an on-demand hot water heater hooked to this, you'll have hot water at this sink. We've got a two burner stove with a glass cover. What that'll do is provide just a little extra countertop space when you're not using it. Uh, but you will note also that these are cast iron grates, really high, high end uh, uh, compared to what you'll see on a wire grate. Um, it's a two burner stove. Each one of these has a blue LED light around it and a blue light here for the igniter. Uh, so that lets you know where those things are. Just below, you're gonna find our, um, our microwave oven. And uh, we have an op, that is an option. If you choose not to get that, that is a storage compartment. So you're just increasing your storage that much more. So for those of you that are truly off grid, not carrying a generator, don't need a microwave, you take advantage of that extra storage space. Looking over here is our 3.3 cubic 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, just large enough for going out for a weekend or extended weekend. Uh, most of the time you might bring another uh, cooler along with you, whether it be a 12 volt cooler or freezer or an ice cooler. Uh, but you can put quite a bit of food into this thing and get by for a while. One last thing I didn't mention is that there is a, uh, a GFI outlet up here on the countertop. So if you want to plug in a coffee maker or a blender or something like that, you've got the ability to do so. Um, you'll notice inside we've chosen to do a gray wall. Um, that uh, just gives it a, a, a softer look. It's not quite as bright. Um, I really like that look. The front wall is just an accent wall, which is white. I mean, think of the ways that you're going to use this trailer. Um, there's a lot of different uh, things you can do. If you're at the track racing motocross, you can, uh, you can work on your bike in here out of the sun, shut the doors, and be in an air-conditioned environment. And there's not a whole lot of uh, campers out there that are going to allow you to do that. But uh, it's great for going out into the desert with your four-wheeler. Um, if you've got a, an ATV or something like that and you're on a farm, it's great. It's great for hunting. There's just any multitude of uh, things that you can do with this trailer. And then last but not least, the feature uh, back here is the 32-inch 12-volt TV. Um, this is uh, set on a um, swivel, so you pull the cord, it'll release, and you can aim it out the back so you could sit out back and and enjoy the television or you can watch it from inside. Uh, but that is also an option and that's what includes that high definition antenna. So you find yourself off grid, no 120 volt power and you're wondering how you're gonna move air around. Well, there's plenty of ways to move air around in this trailer. You've got the optional rear pull down screen. You've got your two side windows with screens. Your tip outs have screens in them and your side doors can have screens in it. You can shut down what you want, open what you want, and then you're gonna pull or push the air out with your max air fan. This is the deluxe version that they provide us, and this has the wind cover on it. So the shield on the outside can actually operate while there's rain, no water will come in, and our tip out windows will allow you to pull nice breeze in through them if you would like. There's a ton of power here. It'll even hold a business card up there. It's pulling so much air and you can conveniently use it from your bed with the hands-free remote that's included. We think this will really help you out, and you're really gonna like it. Well, everybody really kind of knows us for our awesome roof rack. And uh, a lot of people forget that we build our trails with a walk-on roof. Um, one of the cool things is, this is a one-piece fiberglass roof, backed with Asdale, starts at the back of the trailer and goes all the way forward through the radius and down to the stone guard. So little opportunity for any type of leaks. But uh, it's the roof rack that really sets us apart. We've got all kinds of accessories that you can add and put on here. And uh, you can put bikes up here, rooftop tent, um, canoes, kayaks, stand up paddle boards, any multitude of those, this trailer is so long. Each one of these has a dynamic load rating of 100 pounds, uh, which means going down the road. So statically, it can handle even more than that. But uh, it's awesome that you can just climb up, walk around up here, clean it, do whatever you'd like, but also secure your gear. Um, you'll see on our, I call them our up and over brackets, there's all kinds of uh, holes here, and that makes it really convenient for tying your straps down without any kind of difficulty. Um, so you're gonna wanna check this out at your dealer. This is a really very unique rack, and it not only gives it a great look, but it's highly functional as well. One last feature I wanna tell you about is our optional pull down rear garage screen. This is really nice, quickly goes up and down, 
but it's a good way to keep the mosquitoes outside where they belong, keep you fresh and clean inside, but still be able to enjoy the great outdoors. Again, my name is Rich Schnippel. I'm with Encore RV, and I want to thank you for taking the time to take a look at the 20TH2. Again, also available in a TH1 single tip out and available with our survival series. So keep that in mind. Take a look at us at www.encore-rv.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.